Welcome back to another episode of Mod Sauce with John, Michael, and Marina. Uh, right now I'm going to do a little quick uh, setup of a pulverizer and a redstone furnace to accompany our blacksmith area so that we can start doubling our ores uh, quicker uh, than using the smelter and use the smelter for other purposes. So first things first, let's make the uh, redstone furnace and then the pulverizer. So first thing is look up everything in thermal expansion, redstone furnace, take bricks, machine frame, need a tin gear, some iron, and some glass. So we want to get some tin gears and just a second and some iron. <clears throat> so an iron in the middle for tin makes a tin gear. We're actually going to need two of these, I believe. Pulverizer needs the um, gear also, so why not make that at the same time? So two tin gears. Uh, bricks, I'm going to need some clay. Let's smelt that up. I need eight of it. <clears throat> and now I need to get copper gears and a redstone reception coil made out of gold. So Gonna need two of those. Gonna need copper gears. for that one. Pulverizer, we need a piston, which we need some cobble. And a little bit of wood. Cobble. Redstone and iron. And a piston. So, oops, we need our machine frames. Machine frame was So, that, that, so this makes the redstone furnace, <clears throat> then the pulverizer was flint and piston. Put the piston up there. Need two flint, which I have over here. And that's the pulverizer. Let's put some of the stuff back. Alright. <clears throat> so what we want to do is get rid of this right here.
and I want to uh, actually put these two in the ground and have chests up here that will be where we put our uh, ores in to <clears throat> to make that. So let's do this. I need four. One, two, three, four. I'm also going to need a spot for power here and here. to uh, go behind here. Okay. to come back here and I'll be doing a, a windmill up, up on top in a few minutes. So I want the redstone furnace right there and I want the pulverizer right there. And the pulverizer it's going to be set up like this. So let's just turn these off. So the input I want to be on this side. So blue is the input, I want it to come out on this side, over here. And for that, I want a hopper. Right there. And then I want the <coughs> uh, main output here to go out this side which is on this side here, and you can't see it. I'll expose it for a second. So that's the main output. So that's going to go directly into the input side of the redstone furnace. Okay, so that's the redstone furnace's input. The output of the redstone furnace I want to be directly up. And then I also want an input to the furnace on this side too. And I'll explain that in a few seconds. Okay, and then the last thing is, this little spot here is for extra material that uh, there's a certain percent chance that when it does a pulverize that you get extra material. I want the extra material to go up right there. So now I need four chests here and I have I want four chests Gonna make that out of iron. So iron chest, iron chest, iron chest, and iron chest. Now, what we can do here, say, or to be or to be pulverized aka doubled bonus chest Now, 
this chest here, as we saw here in this configuration, comes in this side and it just goes to the furnace. So if I just want to cook some meat or cook some uh, logs into coal, then I can just put it in this chest, it will go through the furnace and its output will be in here. It doesn't go through the pulverizer. And that's the setup for the pulverizer and the furnace. So in the next, what I'll do is I'll set up some, we'll discuss power in a few minutes after I get some uh, things made. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. And what we want to do now is to get energy to these two devices. And we, I have dug a tunnel up to the sky here, so the top of the mountain. And what I want to do is put a, um, a windmill from mechanism up there. <coughs> so what I want to do is first things first, I like the Ender I.O. pipes. I went ahead and made a Sterling generator, which is made basically a bunch of stone bricks, furnace, piston, and two basic gears, which are made with cobble and sticks. So I made, made that. <clears throat> We're going to set that up temporarily there. We're going to put coal in there and let it uh, charge up. <clears throat> We're also, we need an alloy furnace, alloy smelter. And again, that's made three furnaces. Three furnaces, a cauldron, and a machine chassis, which is iron bars. So for that, I need these. Need the iron, <coughs> and redstone, and I believe copper. <clears throat> so, for the cauldron, need one of those. For the machine chassis, <clears throat> I need iron bars. And I need this basic capacitor, which is gold nuggets, a copper. And there you go. So now, machine chassis here, hit that, <coughs> alloy smelter there. And it's getting energy from the furnace right there. So for this, <coughs> what I want to make is conduit. And I want a bunch of these, which are conductive iron, which is made with redstone and iron ingots. So I think I need about, we'll just say 32 of them. Actually, it won't, it won't be bad to make a stack. So let's do this. Stack of that. <clears throat> so we're going to throw a stack of there, and we'll make sure that this is um, making the conductive iron. 
later on we'll do upgrades here to make this faster but um, I just want to verify that that's doing it correctly before I turn away and there you go <clears throat> so now as part of the conduit we need this conduit binder which is made from binder composite which is made from gravel sand and clay and luckily we have sand gravel and clay <coughs> and So this actually, each one of these will make eight. Get some of those cooking. <clears throat> and now we can start on the uh, mechanism on the windmill. So what we want there, let's put this gravel away and the sand and the cat So for the windmill, we want the one for mechanism. <clears throat> it's made with osmium, enriched alloy, basic control circuit, and an energy tablet. Enriched alloy is made in the metallurgic, metallurgic infuser with redstone and iron. Basic conduit, also made of the metallurgic infuser with osmium and redstone. And the energy tablet, redstone, gold, and the enriched alloys, which is again, so basically we need the metallurgic infuser, which is this guy here. <coughs> so this is made with two furnaces, an osmium ingot iron and redstone. So let's go get some cobble back. I needed osmium. I needed iron, which I have enough. I needed redstone. I think I needed gold for some th for the stuff later. So, I want to make a furnace. I need eight of those. And I need some there. So I just want to make one of these for now. I'm going to put it right on the other side of this generator so that it too can share in the power. <coughs> and you see it's getting RF from the generator. Still has enough uh, there. And now we want to make some of the things for the windmill. Windmill. Let's make the enriched alloy. So that's iron and redstone. So we have enough there. And I actually needed one of those. I believe I need... I don't need that. So I need two for these. So that's two, four, five of these. So one, two, three, four, five. One...
two, three, four, five. Okay. Then we also need one of these, which is an osmium and a redstone. make speed upgrades for these two and I'll be doing that in a later episode when we do more on mechanism. Okay, so that one there. Now I want I believe one of those. Now I should be able to two of those. What am I missing there? This is the recipe. And there we go. So, uh, we're halfway there. <coughs> Grab those. Grab those. 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 Come back here. So, <coughs> that's going to give us 40 of those. I already have a wrench that I can use here. And I think that's it. That's all I need. <clears throat> so, I want to go from here and here. Here. Let's do this. Okay, so the windmill <coughs> has to be placed down. The higher the windmill is, the more power it gets. And that's why we went straight up and not just out on the front yard there. So I'm going to put the windmill down right there. And as you can see, it's a huge device. And the power output of this is right at this green dot. <coughs> So I need one more, and if we right-click on this, you can see that it's generating it's generating power, and it's generating 384 RF per tick, which is more than enough to run all of the that equipment downstairs. So let's get down. should be able to see okay and you can see the RF pipe is um, taking power <coughs> and if we hold our mouse over there we can already see that this is all all full so we don't need this sterling generator anymore to use. Okay, so now let's get some more. I'm going to get my nether osmium ore and I can just put it in this chest. It gets taken out of this chest via the hopper into the input here and it's being pulverized and immediately going out to the furnace which is here which is being um, smelted and put in the chest up here. And there you go.
So now we have a working pulverizer and furnace that's going to double all of our ores and it's getting power from the Ender I.O. conduits that is being fed by the mechanism windmill and the windmill could power many more machines within this lab at a later date. And that's it for this episode. Thank you and have a good day.